radiologists are indispensable to the operation of our medical system, but who are they and what do they actually do? Dr. Stephen Adelstein is an immunopathologist at a major metropolitan hospital. Immunopathology is the diagnosis of disease uh, related to immune mechanisms. Uh, it is high. It certainly confirms that it was an anaphylaxis. Um, that, uh, Every organ in the body can be affected by diseases that are immune-based, either because the immune system is reacting normally uh, to some sort of process and you can use that reaction to try and diagnose the disease or because the immune system is acting abnormally and causing the disease or resulting in the disease because the immune system is not working properly. And you'll get a little swelling on your skin over here which indicates... So we're talking about diseases where the immune system is either overactive or underactive or for example, allergies, where again the immune system is inappropriately responding to things in the environment. And we'll take the lobster here. Because I'm a clinical immunologist or clinical immunopathologist, um, I do two things. Um, I both have the privilege of, of actually seeing patients um, who are referred to me mainly because um, other doctors suspect that there is an immune component to their illnesses, to whatever they're presenting with, um, and then I'm involved in actually the diagnosis or the, the, um, the laboratory aspect of using immunological systems to diagnose disease. It's very important because, in fact, the processes that are used in immunopathology are used in the diagnosis of a wide number of diseases in other areas of medicine, so that um, diseases that are not specifically immune diseases, but are immune mediated diseases like diabetes, like asthma. Um, the mechanisms involved in the establishment of those diseases are immunological mechanisms. We have in our laboratory 15 scientists who do the actual day-to-day -day tests. Um, my role as an immunopathologist is to make sure that the environment is there so that those tests can be both done accurately uh, and interpreted properly and reported correctly uh, and, um, and communicated to requesting doctors correctly. Following high school and graduating medical school, Dr. Adelstein undertook an internship and further training before receiving dual fellowship in the College of Pathologists and College of Physicians. He then went on to complete a PhD followed by three years for a postdoctoral fellowship. I think it can be very confusing for doctors out there because the two methods do give different results and that's part of the reason where we come Some in results are clearly black and white, and, uh, but um, some results are not and have to be put in the context of other test results and clinical parameters that, that uh, come into the, the, how the patient presents, what the signs and symptoms are. Uh, and so I am the interface between the laboratory and the, the doctors who use the laboratory. And while Dr. Adelstein is an immunopathologist, pathologists generally play a very wide role and are actively involved in diagnosing 70% of disease and work across a range of different specialities. These include anatomical pathology, the study of disease through tissue, Forensic pathology, which seeks to investigate and define the cause of unexpected death. Chemical pathology, which deals with the entire range of disease and encompasses detecting changes in a number of substances in blood and body fluids, such as electrolytes, enzymes and proteins. Genetics, which looks at chromosomes and DNA from cells to diagnose genetic diseases. Hematology, which deals with diseases which affect the blood such as anemia, leukemia, lymphoma and clotting or bleeding disorders. Microbiology, which deals with diseases caused by infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites. And general pathology, which covers the profession as a whole. It's very challenging, very interesting. I, I mean, I have, I have the best job in the world, I think.